Hello, I'm Jess and I like board games. This is my quickly expanding little board game shelf in my little 500 square foot Vancouver apartment. Anyways, I went thrifting last week and every time I go thrifting, I have to check out the board game section just in case. Nine times out of 10, it is a flop, but not this time. I picked up this sucker at Value Village for six Canadian dollars. This is a vintage Parker Brothers 1975 Risk board game, number 44 War. It's very long. This is me for reference. And I was actually debating if I should take it home with me at first, but I figured I don't actually own a Risk board game. Plus I'm just a sucker for anything vintage. Just knowing that someone my parents age picked up this game, played it with their family, probably stuffed it in their basement for 30 years, and now it's mine. I'm gonna wash these little game pieces. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a mysterious- Oh my God, what is that? 30 year old hair in there. Oh my God, what is that? Ew, we're gonna wash them and it's gonna be okay. I'm not freaking out at all. I don't know if you can tell, cause there's a lot of soap, but that water is definitely not transparent. It's like a cursed soup. Okay, so now that I've given all of the game components a bath, let's take a look inside the box. So first we have the rule book, pretty standard rule book, nothing fancy, written in English and the back is in French because it's a Canadian copy of the game. And here is a world map, which obviously is not in any way accurate to the actual world. But um, yeah, here's the six continents that you can invade. And these are the territory cards. So let's open it up. They're really not in bad condition at all. I gave them a very gentle wipe. And these are the six sets of colored armies and six dice, three red for attack and three white for defense. And each of these little three-sided pieces represent one army. And there's also these star-shaped ones that represents 10 armies. And here is the back of the box. Risk is a harmless way for the whole family to try and conquer the world. So the 1975 version of Risk is really just like a more basic or classic experience of the game. So I would say that overall, it's definitely easier to learn and play. The objective of Risk, of course, is to conquer the world by eliminating all of your opponents and controlling every territory on the board. And to set up the game, each player chooses their army color. And depending on the number of players, um, you start out with a certain allocation of initial army amount. So at the beginning of your turn, you receive new armies to add to your territories. And this is based on a number of factors, including the number of territories you control. So whatever that number is divided by three, you also add in how many continents you fully own or have conquered. You can see that number in the bottom right section of the board. And you also receive additional armies if you currently have territories that match the risk cards in your hand. And then you may decide to attack. Um, you can do as many attacks as you'd like on adjacent territories. You do this by rolling up to three dice, depending on how many armies you have. And the defender is able to roll up to two dice. When you successfully conquer a territory, you move in at least one of your armies to that new territory. You also collect risk cards when you conquer territories, which help with initial reinforcement of armies on your turn. And that's kind of the gist of it. It is really quite simple. If you have fully captured all of an opponent's territories, you actually get to take all of their risk cards with you. And whoever eliminates all opponent's territories wins the game. Well, there you have it. That was Risk 1975. I'm so excited to play it some more. It's obviously such a classic board game. Um, and speaking of classics, if you made it this far into the video, leave a comment down below letting me know what are some of your favorite classic board games? Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're into board games or just general nostalgic stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.